Welcome to ChinaSecurities.com and Chinese Small Cap TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of the Chinese small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great Chinese small cap investment. It's Friday, March the 6th. You'd think it'd be a slow news cycle day. I've got three great press releases for you. Let me start you off first with Midray Medical trades under the under MR on the New York Stock Exchange. They announced their Q4 numbers, their medical device maker, and and uh, looks like the numbers jumped 47 percent based on higher monitoring, imaging and diagnostic product sales, which, again, does not surprise anybody here, given the fact that growth in China is going to take place for years to come. Late Wednesday, they said that they earned thirty one point six million dollars or twenty eight percent, twenty eight cents per share in the quarter. This for the quarter that compares to twenty one point five million dollars or nineteen cents per share for the for the fourth quarter last year. Big jump there. You're talking about over forty percent. Uh, revenues rose eighty four percent to 167 point nine million dollars for the full year uh, the company earned 108 point seven million dollars or 96 cents per share that's up 40 percent year over year revenue up 86 percent to just under 550 million dollars big numbers there company closed on uh, on Thursday at eighteen dollars and thirty six cents that's MR on the New York Stock Exchange Next up, Gulf Resources trades on the OTC out of the stock symbol GFRE. They announced they received a $7.5 million follow-up order for, for their environmentally friendly chemical products. Uh, this is a deal done with their wholly owned subsidiary. They signed an agreement with a distributor of additive materials for oil fields in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region to deliver environmentally friendly chemical products uh, valued at $7.5 million. Looks like the delivery is going to take place from March 2009 to December 2009. So it's all going to take place in the calendar year. This is a follow-up order, as I said earlier. This is, a, this is important. From an initial $1.6 million order. So the, that initial $1.6 million order obviously very, went very well. And they uh, replaced an order for nearly five times more. Great to see that out of a Chinese small cap company. And the company saying that their products generated a gross profit uh, of approximately 42% in 2008. Good numbers there. The company believes it is one of the largest producers of bromine in the PRC. Uh, what's that used for? Elemental bromine is used to manufacture a wide variety of compounds utilized in industry and agriculture. You can imagine how important that's going to be in China in the coming years. They closed yesterday at just 36 cents, uh, just off their low of 15 cents or 52-week low, but way off their high of $2.70. So do your own due diligence. This may be a good time to uh, enter golf resources. And finally, home uh, home ins and home and hotels management trades on the Nasdaq under HMIN. They put up both their uh, their Q4 and their full year 2008 financial results. As you can imagine, they're an economy hotel chain in China. Here are the full year highlights. Uh, total revenue up 85.4% to 274 million dollars i'm doing some rounding net income 14.8 million dollars we don't have a percentage change there but we do know their income from operations declined 23.3 percent on the other hand ebitda actually increased by 43.2 percent uh, diluted earnings per ADS actually came out to about one penny per ADS. Interesting quote, pretty bold quote from Mr. David Sun, the CEO of the company, who said this, although there are still great uncertainties regarding the economic conditions and the demand for travel in China in 2009, we are now the clear leader in the economy hotels industry in China as evidenced by a large number of hotels, broad ge uh, geographic coverage, and an ever-expanding homens member network. Uh, don't know if you should take uh, that uh, totally a word because uh, obviously they're going to be biased and there may be other bigger competitors out there. But big numbers, big name, uh, the b big words there out of David Sun. The company closed yesterday at $9.03. That's a wrap. Not a bad news day for a Friday, all other things being considered. As always, if you're looking for more great Chinese small cap companies, don't forget about ChinaSecurities.com. Front page got all the great press releases for you over the last couple of days, segmented by industry, so you can find the one best suited for, for your portfolio. And for the companies who weren't making news over the last couple of days, but if you want to take a look at the complete directory of Chinese small cap companies trading in North America, click on the directory button. We've now got over 100 companies listed by industry and exchange with great descriptions to help you find the one that best suits your portfolio. And we're adding on more every day. We're going to keep adding them on until we get to about 250. So go back every day or as often as you can to take a look at that directory. Have a fantastic weekend. See you on Monday.